Hey guys, it's Sammy here. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you what my LSE application process was like and also possibly giving you a few tips for how to get accepted into LSE. Now, when I applied to the LSE, I knew that LSE is the only school that I was interested in. I was working as a financial news anchor at the time, so um, it was either LSE or I just continued to work in the country that I was in, which is in South Korea. So the first thing that I did was I went to the school website and looked through potential programs that I might be doing my master's in. And once you decided the program, this is when you spend the most time going through the website line by line. So let me show you the LSE Media Communications website where the program that I'm doing at the moment. So here in the introduction, it talks about what the program offers, what you can expect in terms of teaching and learning in the year that you'll be studying. Now program details is the section where I spent the most time trying to understand what the school is exactly asking for. So here you see the start date, application deadline, which is a rolling admission, which means that it's that the school accepts your applications throughout the year. It's first come, first served, not first come, first served. It's first come, first considered basis. And it shows the duration of your study. There's a tuition fee, financial support deadline is also stated, whether you need a specific test requirement. And then there are subsections of entry requirements, assessing your application fees and funding and information for international students, and it goes on. And here, we want to focus on assessing your application. It's generally when you apply to a master's studies program, it's a very similar process when you apply for your undergrad studies. So it asks for your academic achievement, which means you have to show an proof of you did a full four-year um, academic bachelor's degree program at accredited institutions. And I guess the key critical documents that you need to prepare for the application are the following. One, academic achievement, two, recommendation letters, or also known as academic references from two of your professors, three, nicely organized CV, and lastly, your personal statement. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about academic achievement because it's, you know, it's what it is. You gotta be able to submit a proof of what you studied in your accredited institution for your bachelor's degree and also your transcripts. The next important thing is statement of academic purpose, which, which is also known as personal statement. When I was in the process of writing my personal statement, I was emotionally and intellectually ready uh, working for eight years. Now I needed a transition into academia. So I already sort of had ideas like what I wanted to say in my personal statement. The tips that I can give you with personal statement is that you want to emphasize what kinds of experiences in terms of professional as well as academic skills that make you a good candidate for a master's studies program here at the LSE. And also highlight why is it that you want to study this particular subject, how you developed your passion and interest in studying this, and also what kind of future you envision yourself doing after going through this rigorous uh, master's studies program here at the LSE. For example, in my case, I had a pretty flourishing career in the media and broadcasting field as a financial news anchor. And I had many opportunities to cover uh, some, some of the most important issues that were impacting um, economic, political ecologies. For example, the very long US-China trade dispute, geopolitical tensions in the Middle East, big giant tech platform companies that were concentrating not only economic capital, but also much of symbolic power. So I was fascinated and interested in learning more about these power relations and how they impact our everyday lives. And media was always in the center of that uh, subject. And that's why I chose to apply to study uh, media and communications here at the LSE. So, so that was for, sort of like my formulation of why I wanted to study at the LSE and what kind of skill sets and traits that I have built from my uh, professional experiences. How that makes me a good candidate as a master's student at the LSE. And the next important thing is the CV. You want to make sure that it is grammatically flawless. 
It lists all your important acting achievements as well as professional experiences that will show the characters and traits that the school is looking for. That you are very much engaged in this field of study. And of course, letters of recommendations. Now this is really important, especially someone like me who has had a very long hiatus from academia after graduating from my college in 2011. Eight years have passed, not knowing that I would apply for another degree, but I have personally kept in touch with all of my professors who have left such a big impact in my life um, shaping who I am. So that has helped a lot when it came to the time when I needed recommendation letters from my professors. So my tip is that do keep in touch with your professors and it is also possible that you ask someone in your workplace for a recommendation letter if you have worked for more than two years after you graduated from your undergrad. And when asking for recommendation letters, approach them well in advance. Um, give yourself at least one or two months. Give them your up-to-date resume uh, or CV in this case, your current role and what you've been doing, why you're qualified for a specific program that you're applying for, what the recommendation letter is for. And of course, send a thank you letter to them once this whole process is over. So what could be helpful when you apply for a master's studies program? Have a calendar where all of the important deadlines are marked and request a due date. So I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. For the next video, I'll share with you what you can do to make the most out of your experience at the LSE. So for now, please stay healthy and I'll see you guys in the next video.